Hello, this is Tech Tips with Stoman. In this video, we're going to talk about how to using MailDrop with iOS. I'm currently running iOS 13 on my iPhone. It's a fairly simple process that allows you to send bigger files through email. What it does is basically make an email link, it uploads it to iCloud, and then the user, or it's shared for 30 days, that particular email link. And then the email link just goes away. So the person has 30 days to read the email and download the file. It's a fairly simple process. It does take a few minutes to upload the file, especially if you're not on Wi-Fi. So be aware of that. But here we go. So what we're going to do is primarily use for sharing videos. I can't really think of much other reasons to use this particular one. So we're going to tap on photos. I've got a video here on the bottom that I'm going to use. So I'm going to open it. And then once I open it, I'm going to hit the, the share button. And we're going to tap mail. Now, I'm going to just send it to someone. I will send it to myself. And we'll just send it to that one right there. We're going to call it test. Now, the trick is when we hit send, we're going to get this dialog box. And what that means is we're going to send it and we're going to be using MailDrop. We can try sending as attachment, but obviously 102 megabytes are way too big. So we send it as through MailDrop. MailDrop sends out, uploads the file in the background of your iOS device. Then we, the recipient receives an email link that they can once download what they want to say. This is Stoman from Tech Tips with Stoman. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment in the section below. As always, please click like and subscribe for updates from this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.